Uh, it's my honor to welcome all of you to our fourth annual Fauna Connection Symposium today. Um, I joined Faunalytics in January of this year, so I'm thrilled to be attending my first Fauna Connections with you with you all today. Um, before I dive in, I just want to briefly thank everyone who is making today possible, our speakers, poster presenters, advocates who are here to take these research findings and turn them into action for animals, and our staff who are all working behind the scenes to make today so seamless and amazing. Um, and a special thanks to our sponsors, uh, the Food System Research Fund and Stray Dog Institute. Uh, we call this event Connections because we're passionate about connecting animal advocates with up-to-date research, data, and resources to strengthen and inform the incredibly important work that you do. And we aren't just passionate about connecting advocates with research, but connecting people, animal advocates and researchers in conversation with each other. Our presentations or, and approach to Fauna Connections uh, this year is a little different than in past years. Instead of asking researchers to present the results of a single study, we have an amazing group of researchers with us today who will be presenting on synthesizing and summarizing a wide range of research topics for us to give us a snapshot of existing bodies of knowledge, open questions, and actionable recommendations about how we can put this knowledge into direct action for animals. We have broken up today's events into four modules. The first module is all about neglected regions and animal advocacy. The second is about fish and aquaculture. The third is about legislation. The fourth is about animals used in testing and science. And the fifth is about messaging and advocacy. So we're covering a very wide range of topics and approaches today. At the end of the event, our research scientists, Zach and Andrea, will also be hosting a discussion about how advocates can assess, understand, and use our research. And we're gonna close the day with some fun where we have time for networking with each other. Just a couple housekeeping remarks before we get this show on the road. Um, as noted in the chat, we ask that you use the Q&A feature to ask your questions of the speakers today, and please feel free to, to share all your, or all, all your questions and answers, not your answers, your questions with the speakers. Um, and you can use the chat, as many of you already are, to connect, learn from each other, and learn about the research topics that we hear about today. So with all of that said, it's now my honor to introduce our keynote speaker for today, uh, Dr. Faraz Harsini, who is the biomedical and food system scientist, founder and CEO of Allied Scholars for Animal Protection, and senior scientist at the Good Food Institute. Uh, today, Dr. Harsini will be sharing why transforming our food system is key to solving global challenges and how empowering students through a systematic, data-driven approach can create lasting change. So with that, I'll turn it over to Dr. Harsini.